Good evening. Hello. My name is Sydney Yoshimura. Tonight, I have the great pleasure of introducing a really wonderful woman, Mrs. Susan Sloan. Uh, she's a very special librarian from Bella Vista, and uh, I did prepare words, but I guess everyone else's speeches were very inspiring, so I'm gonna just go off the books. Um, when I first walked into the library, it was uh, the first place I felt like home. Uh, I looked up and I saw this really beautiful woman who really looked like she knew what she was doing, so I really aspired to be just like her when I grew up, so um, I'm really grateful to be here. She really took over the College and Career Center when uh, COVID hit, and and I was in the my, end of my junior year, going into my senior year. And so she was really our only support system for going through the college process. And I'm just really grateful that she took that upon herself. Um, additionally, uh, I just wanted to say that uh, she's really a driven, passionate, inspiring person who has really just built a whole network of a family within the library. Uh, she always has the latest books available for us. She uh, brings in new books and takes out the old ones, so she has a cart of free books if you are wanting to take some home. And uh, it really just felt like home. Thank you. Mrs. Susan Sloan. Thank you, Sydney. She's a wonderful, strong woman who has grown into herself and has the whole life ahead of her, and I am so proud of you. And she has a great mom, Adelia, who's back there, who's just as beautiful and inspiring. And I love you guys both. Somehow I missed the memo on the speech thing. I don't know where it got lost. <laughs> Last year was a thing. <laughs> it was a big, busy year. But that's okay, that's what we do as teachers, right? We punt if we need to. We make it happen, and I'm gonna give her a whirl right now, okay? I wanna first thank the San Juan Unified District for honoring a teacher librarian. We are a small group within our district and a small group within the state. I am one of nine that I am proud to represent here right now. And I love what I do every single day. But teaching wasn't what I thought I was gonna be doing at all. As a matter of fact, it was the most remote thing possible for me when I was in college that was not even on the horizon at all. I wanted to be a scientist. I wanted to be a marine biologist. I was all up in the science realm. But then, back in the day, because I've been doing this just a bit, over 30-something years, and we'll just stop there. But I had to add a class, and I really wanted to add a psychology class. So back at Sac State, in those days, um, it was before a lot of technology. That's a long time ago. But you used to have to wait in those long hallways to hope that a professor, after they got done with their lectures, would be willing to sign you in so you could take that class. So I did that. I was waiting in this quarter with all of these students, also waiting to add the class. And somebody came down the hallway, and they were passing out flyers. And it was a flyer to be a tutor in reading for elementary age students. And I was like, well, that sounds OK. And it kind of fit in my schedule. And I needed just another class. So why not? So I went ahead and I did, I took the class. I did the little bit of training that they gave you. And I got matched up with two little boys at a local elementary school who were just the most adorable things ever. And I got to twice a week meet with them for about an hour and help them read. Just learning through phonics, learning their sight words, all of those things. And I was flabbergasted. They could read some things after we were meeting, after a couple weeks. It was amazing. And I thought, wow, maybe this is something. Maybe there's something to this like teaching thing. And I thought, okay, I'm gonna give it a whirl. So I went in, fast forward, got a credential, and then because it's a family trait. I collect things, and I decided to collect a few more credentials along the way. And so for a number of years, I taught in the former Grant District. I taught German, environmental studies, reading recovery, AVID, and a bunch of other things. And then I thought, well, 
isn't there more to this? And sure it was. It was go back, get another credential and be a teacher librarian. Got hired into the San Juan district, been there for 21 years now, and I could not be happier. I'm now closer to the end of my career than I am to the beginning of my career, but I am inspired by all of the words that everybody has said in this room today, and I'm inspired by the new librarians that we have within our district who are teaching me so many new things. And let me just say a few things about libraries because that's my passion. We are windows and we are mirrors, and we're a safe place for kids to come when they're feeling down. We provide them with the resources that they need to be successful in school. We are all about information, how to find it, how to read it, use it, discern if it's legitimate, fake, or otherwise, package it up into nice little bundles so that they can use it in their presentations, in their essays, in their speeches that they do in class, so that they are successful, and heck, if it doesn't work when you have them for four years, and you're able to turn out Sydney's, <laughs> who are just amazing people. And so, at the end of this all, I wanna give you a quote. It's my favorite library quote ever by the most inspiring woman who is out there in the library world, Christine Holweitz, and she said, Libraries give voice to the voiceless, power to the powerless, and hope to the hopeless. And that is what I strive to do every single day. Today was the day I just finished up giving 17, we're a large school, 17 freshman orientations to, to teach them what libraries are about and how I am going to be involved in their lives for the next four years. The best part of that, on Wednesday a student walked in and said, I'm in heaven. And today on the last presentation, I had a student say, can I just live here? I think I'm onto something. I think this teaching thing is gonna be great. Thank you very much.